We don't think it's very fair. Um, we're a small Tampa business. We've been in the same location for 30 years. A grant program to help small businesses in Tampa suffering because of the pandemic isn't helping everyone. Where your business is located is making a big difference. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from Davis Islands. Jeff. Good evening, Jen. This may sound a little crazy, but if you have a small business over there on Harbor Island, you can qualify for this grant program. But if you have a small business over here on Davis Islands, you don't qualify. Martin Beckman is the owner of Playboy's Barbershop on Cass Street in Tampa. It's located inside of a community redevelopment area. And so Beckman was able to receive a One Tampa grant to help pay his bills. Listen, it's been a real blessing. I want to thank Mayor Castor right now for what has transpired as of yet. But Linda Meisner owns a small fitness business on Davis Islands. And because she's not in a community redevelopment area, her business doesn't qualify. Yes, if we were across the river on Harbor Island, we would qualify. Harbor Island is part of a community redevelopment area. But Eight on Your Side wanted to know why one area qualifies and another doesn't. When you talk about Harbor Island, versus Davis Islands, um, it's difficult to see the difference. It, it is, I would agree, and it's unfortunate that we can't have the footprint spread wider for this particular round. Carol Post with the City of Tampa says more businesses will be able to qualify for the second round of One Tampa Grants starting on Monday. But what we're really excited about for phase two is that we were able to eliminate a lot of the criteria we had on round one. Uh, and make it more expansive and hopefully available to more businesses that are located in those geographical locations. Unfortunately, Linda Meisner's business will not qualify for round two of the grants because of where she is located. But Eight on Your Side has learned there may be a round three of grants through private donations that could help businesses all over the city of Tampa. Jen? And there are certainly those that need it. But which businesses can apply on Monday? Uh, well, there are more businesses that will be able to apply because the city is easing up on its restrictions. So they have from Monday till Friday to apply, but we don't know yet if round three win or if it will happen, Jen. All right, Jeff Patterson, live for us in Tampa. Thank you.